what's up, everybody? I'm Alex Warren, and welcome to Locked In, the show where we investigate the truth behind the clickbait. Once my guest steps into the studio, we set the timer to 60 minutes, lock the door, and throw away the key. The only way out is when the timer hits zero. In this episode, we're locking Jack right in. Woo! <laughs> How was that? It was good. Yeah, I miss you. I know. I miss you, too. I was thinking about this the other day, and I thought this was really interesting. You and I have known each other for a very long time. We have, yes. I, if I'm not mistaken, Cover found you and your brother and was like, oh, my God, they should join the hype yeah, house. Yeah, right? It's, so ran- it's kind of you guys who made me, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, I just remember what was it? the hype house had just done extremely well, and – it was probably like two weeks later, you guys just come walking the door and I just see this golden retriever looking dude. And he's like, what's up everybody? <laughs> With my long ass hair. Dude, I know. Yeah. And you were just ready. You were just a ball of sunshine. Oh, it was the best thing ever. Anyway, this is Locked In. Okay, if you're not familiar with Locked In, the podcast, it's pretty much just me kind of sitting people down and talking to them about like the truth behind what they put out. Essentially, as we build a personality online and, you know, whether or not that's how we are in real life, it's kind of for the audience to understand who you are mm-hmm. and get to know you and kind of know the real Jack Wright. Sometimes it does get pretty deep and to kind of mask all that. We put a crime in the thing and kind of by the end of it, I decide whether or not you're guilty of it. It's a fun little thing to get your mind off of the serious topics we talk about. So your yeah. crime is using performance enhancing drugs to get into the Junior Olympics. Oh, shoot. All yeah. right. <laughs> wow. I, we're jumping out of the gun here. <laughs> okay. So anyway, how you been? I've been great. Just traveling and... Living life, you know. I know. <laughs> I, I left the hype, for anyone looking for context, I left the hype house probably four months ago, three months ago. And ever since, I really haven't seen much of Jack. But when I go on his stories, I just see he's always in Hawaii. <laughs> I'm like, wow, this guy's living life. Yeah. Well, how does that happen? Why? How did it start? Because I um, think it's very apparent by your TikToks and anyone yeah. who follows you on social media, you are in love with Hawaii and nature and all oh, these things. Definitely. And you're never wearing shoes. <laughs> so, I mean, you start? know me. I feel like when we were living together, I just I was always out and about like yeah. doing random things. Um, I'm obsessed with traveling and just like focusing on myself and like also meeting like just random like new people. You're obsessed um, with meeting people. Oh, I love meeting people. Yes, yeah, it's, it's so fun. Especially we could different- we could go. Me and me and Jack could go to the most like you know unsafe neighborhood in the world, exactly. and Jack would be walking around like. <laughs> Anyone want to do a TikTok dance? Like literally, there could be gangbangers on the side of the corner. He's like, "You guys want to pose?" <laughs> like that. That is how Jack is. So what what sparked Hawaii? How did that start? Um, so my dad was born and grew up in um, Hawaii, mm-hmm. and uh, when I was younger, we'd always go back and forth. Um, it kind of always like felt like a second home going there. Right. Just recently, like I started like going a lot more and um, surfing and hiking, and yeah. I've been getting a lot more into that. So I'm 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 kind of like I'm done with like the the nightlife and stuff in like LA. Sure. So it's like I'd rather be doing like waking up and going on a sunrise hike and that doing all that type nice. of stuff. Yeah. Wait, so like what was like the turning point where you were like, oh, I'm – because I remember when we were living together. You didn't go as often. What was yeah. the point where for you, you kind of felt like, oh, shit, like I want to go more often? Because I remember there was yeah. one time where you're like, oh, I'm just going for a few days or I'm going for two days. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I didn't see you for two weeks. <laughs> right. And then I just, so, like, what I just was, stay there. Did you just yeah. go and meet the right people and you're like, you know what? This is really nice. This is good for my mental health. Was Definitely. it a mental health thing or was it a fun thing? Was it all of the above? Definitely. And I feel like um, a lot of people like going like moving to L.A., they yeah. kind of like lose like their, their interest and in, like what they truly like to do. Yeah. And I realized – like when I'm in Hawaii or like when I'm going on a hike, it's like, it's kind of, it feels like me. It feels like true to myself. So I think once I go out there and like start meeting like new people that like also are down to earth and like to um, go on hikes with me or go surfing or um, just be outside, I think I just feel more comfortable and feel like more like myself, I guess, yeah. you know. That's true. So, yeah. okay, <laughs> sorry. I, I'm just like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of like, because, it, again, it's been a little while since I, I lived with you, but you were always just really down to go do stuff, which yes. I thought was super fun. You have a brother, a twin. Yes, a twin. Who is uh, – he goes to Stanford, right? Mm-hmm. How's that? Because you, yeah. guys, you guys were glued to the hip Ugh, I know. When, when we met. Like, you were always right. with your brother. What was um, – um, I mean, it's, it's weird. Like, growing up, we were always, like, together. So um, I felt like I couldn't do anything without him. It was right. like – I was, like – I was kind of, like, socially awkward without him. So – once like we split up it was like very weird um but i think i think it definitely is it strengthened our relationship our friendship together like i i genuinely want to go see 
James while he's at Stanford. Um, right. We don't get in fights. Um, I'm really happy for him, but I'm glad we're doing like kind of our own things. And well, so what he's what is he going to college for? Business, maybe he wants to get rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, for, all right. So for Jack, uh, not Jack. Sorry. So for your brother, he's in college, and that's what he wanted to do because he had a social media following. Yeah. He wanted like he was doing that, and he just chose to do that. Do you ever see yourself taking that? step or do you kind of like where you're at and you kind of like what's the trajectory you want to take i cannot see myself like going to college right right now i guess like i did well in school it just wasn't my thing yeah. you know and i love what i'm doing right now like being able to like travel and meet new people and hang out with people like you amazing Aww. people like you um, <laughs> yeah so has it been hard though or do you think like, like how to explain this I, when I interviewed the Meon Twins and like mm -hmm. we did our podcast, it was something where they're always together and to the point yeah. they want to be apart. Yeah. And you guys were always together, but it was always something where you truly like, I, I don't think you ever really wanted to be apart from him. Mm, and then once yeah. he was away, it kind of like, it, it, you were pretty bummed about it. Yeah. And, and I don't want to put emotions in your own head, yeah. but it seems like you were. Yeah. How, how have you taken it now that it's been, you know, I feel like it's been what, a year? Yeah. A year and a half? Yeah, it's been a bit. Yeah. Um, How is it now? I mean, I think it's it's healthy right yeah. now. It's, I think it's a lot healthier than we were because, I mean, we were always together. <laughs> and when you're always together um, with someone, it's like you're going to fight over everything. Sure. You know, um, I think it's, it's we have such a like healthy relationship now, just like having our own friends and right. um, doing our own things. Um, obviously, like we miss each other so much, but uh, it's just we feel like, we're our own people instead of Jack and James. Yeah. Um, we always had the same friend group, you know. We I were remember always, this. Like hanging out um, at lunch. We were always just like in one big like group of people just like hanging out with the same people. Mm -hmm. And now it's like he hangs out with the Stanford friends. I'm with like my social media friends or people in Hawaii. Yeah. Um, both of us feel like there's no one comparing us with each other because it's just like it's us with our own friend group. Um, I, I notice when I'm with my group of friends, I'll talk about James a lot and like how like great he is and yeah. um, that like you guys would love to meet him, you know? Mm -hmm. um, it definitely make, yeah, it makes me miss him a lot more. Aww. You know? Yeah. Aww. I miss my brother too. I haven't seen him in a minute. Uh -huh. He lives in yeah. Irvine and he's a Marine. So it's kind of like, for Oh really? Me, yeah. I mean, we grew up obviously together, uh, but, <laughs> but, but for something like that, it was kind of like, you know, I, I, I reflect on a lot of the times that we were growing up and, and, you know, I, they say you don't love your siblings until you're away from them yeah, or something like very that. Very like, true. Or you end up missing them even I noticed more. that about my parents too. <laughs> you <laughs> your know? parents are dope. Oh, they're amazing. I, okay, I so, love them. so context for anyone who doesn't know, Jack's parents are probably the most supportive people I've ever met in my entire <laughs> life. They are, they walk into the room just like Jack does and they're like, woo, <laughs> what's up my little celebrities? <laughs> and they're both, they were both in the Air Force, right? Navy. Navy. Come oh, on. I'm sorry, what is my this? bad. But your oh dad flies... Jets. Or yes. is your mom? They both did. They both fly jets. They both flew jets. Now my dad flies for UPS. That's insane. Yeah. How did they meet? It, um, on a jet. They both went to the Naval, Naval Academy on yeah. a jet. They met in flight school. They were like roommates. That's so, so my mom cool. was like engaged with another guy mm -hmm. and um, they're roommates. And um, my mom and dad just like fell in love. And she broke off her engagement. That must have been an awkward but she didn't, conversation. But she didn't cheat. Don't worry. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, don't jump to a conclusion. I'm not jumping to a conclusion, Jack. She, um, she uh, yeah, she like Got ended it. that first and then. I love that. Love, yeah. So how has it been with your parents and like when you first started, how was that conversation? When you first wanted to do social media, it was like, hey, mom, I want to dance on TikTok for a living. Or how did that go? Yeah, I mean, I feel like all of us, we just start like social media as a joke. Like sure. I did TikTok as a joke. So my mom didn't think anything of it. Mm -hmm. um, and... I think it was until we made our first brand deal, my mom was like, wow, that's like a lot of money. Yeah. And um, it kind of just went from there. And then once I became more serious about it, she became more serious about it. You know, like sure. yeah. very supportive over every decision we make. So you guys yeah. did it together. It was mm -hmm. kind of like, it was kind of like, you know, hey, mom, I'm doing this. You're like, you know, I see this money. Like, you know, you should do this. And you kind of just went up with it. Yeah. That's, a, that's very healthy. Yes. I kind of love that. Yeah. We love it. I know. They're so That's amazing. They're so sweet. So how how's your relationship with your mom now since you guys moved out? I I know you moved out not too long I mean, a pretty long time ago. Yeah. Like, it's not like it was just a fresh thing. But mm -hmm. how's it been? It's been amazing. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you're growing up? Yeah, definitely. Just like being away from my parents and 
So I was I I was very dependent on my parents, very dependent on James. Sure. Um, yeah, just being away when I started coming to LA, uh, it just yeah, I, like I started to grow up a lot. And, yeah. Um, I think LA makes you grow up too. Just like meeting it's very a bunch of people and have like people kind of screwing you over and. I feel like that makes you grow up. You kind of learn a lot of things the hard way. Me and Jack both uh, grew up in San Diego, yes. Temecula, yeah, and Carlsbad, similar. Mm -hmm. How was it making friends in LA? Like now, or even like mm -hmm. how? Was, what was the difference? Because I feel like you're always very good with making friends. You make <laughs> friends with everyone you you meet. Mm -hmm. Did it seem more challenging in LA, or was it kind of just the same? You kind of just walked around and said, "Hi, I'm Jack." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you went with yeah. it. I mean, I, it's a lot different. I feel like San Diego, everyone's like more chill yes. and kind of more down to earth, I'd say. Yes. Uh, LA, it's like, it's a lot about like followers and status. And um, I think for me and, and James, um, we kind of can see like right through like. The, you understand so it's, it's happening when it's happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the experiences I've had with people in LA, like there's some, like a lot of like amazing people um, with like amazing backgrounds. I I'd, I'd say it's it's gone pretty well like meeting new people. I love just meeting different type of people in LA. I love so it. so is you. You're I mean like you're amazing at meeting like new people. Just, I I feel like if we were to sit in a room I've with lost a bunch it. of people. Really? I've lost it, man. I, I I used to be very I used to be like my golden retriever uh, partner <laughs> here, Jack. I used to be that like peppy guy walking yeah. around. And over time I think it I wouldn't say LA broke me. I think I was missing something. I, yeah. you know, with all my friends I, I grew up with and I brought to LA, it was kind of like, you know, they are my family. Like mm -hmm. I, I was in a very shit situation and they all helped me. And at a certain point, it became a part of the transaction where it was kind of like, you know, not my friends who I lived with, but like everywhere else I was going to go film and I was going to go do things. And like when I would live with you guys, it was very much like we lived together, we were friends. Yeah. And I think as, after I moved out and kind of just like started like, you know, making more friends, I, I kind of felt less confident myself to Definitely. be able to do that. Definitely. I kind of lost touch on how I could always make a conversation anywhere. Definitely. And the beautiful thing about this podcast is kind of like I've been able to kind of get it back a little bit mm -hmm. and be able to articulate how I feel and be able to yeah. carry a conversation. And it's a, an amazing thing once you sit the phone fucking down and like have a deep conversation with someone. And I love it so much because I get to know the people I work with, like Definitely, you and yeah. everyone else I've, I've done this podcast with. So it's something that, you know, I'm getting back, but definitely this job makes you more of an introvert. Unless you oh, do totally. what you did yeah. and just fucking fly to hell, Hawaii, you know, <laughs> barefoot, throw your phone off a cliff and be like, let's make friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? And I totally get what you're saying because – I feel like in LA too, it's like it feels a lot like shallow sure. friendships, shallow relationships with a lot of the people. Well, but like you're benefiting each other from something. Yeah, it's like you have to. Yeah, yeah, it's so, how you mutually benefit each other. Exactly. Rather than like actually caring and about getting one to another. know someone. Yeah, and helping 100%. one another. I've been making a lot more friends outside of LA, Love and it. I keep my tight tight group where I am. So like Vinny and Thomas, like just like sure. Where I, I'll keep the tight group where I am, um, and then I'll I'll go somewhere else and like meet like very genuine, um, nice people, um, in other places. Love it. You know. So hype house. That's ever since I left, you guys been doing some pretty cool stuff. What's what's next on the hype house roster? What are you guys doing? Or are you guys kind of just playing it ear by ear? Playing it by ear by ear. Yeah, yeah I'm. Just, I'm just kind of just going with the flow. You know. Love it. Like I yeah, I genuinely. How old are you? Don't know. Nineteen. Crazy. How old are you? Twenty one. Oh, you man. Oh <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you have, a, you have a very old soul. Thank you. you. Know? I, I, like, you look 21, like, you have good skin and oh, stuff. But, like, thanks, you have Jack. an old soul. You and I were both on Accutane. So yes, we were. We, we, we were. appreciate it. <laughs> we do. We love Accutane. This is an Accutane brand deal. We go sponsor Accutane. Pay me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so it's no secret off social media that you, you know, have had some pretty emotional stuff happen. I'm not going to get into it just because it's just, I, I feel like everyone knows it's not mm -hmm. something that, like, I feel like we needed to do. Yeah. But how was your support system during this time? Like, how was, like, when all this stuff was going, did you feel like you had people around you that cared? Definitely. I had, like, I had my family, my friends. I, you guys, you guys yeah. were always very supportive. I definitely did have a lot of support, and it was like weird and awkward at first, but sure. I think for me, when I, when my mom, oops, pardon me, uh, when my mom passed away, I made that video mm -hmm. where it was just me breaking down, and mm -hmm. I, I kind of just wanted to talk, get yeah. it out off my chest, and kind of just 
let the people who, you know, my fans or whatever the yeah. fuck you want to call them. So when my mom passed away and I had to make that video, it was for me something where I felt like I owed it to other people. Mm -hmm. But I feel like your video was structured a little different. I think your video was kind of like, hey, this is my situation. This yeah. happened to me. And I think it was more to let other people be inspired by it. Definitely. Where it can yeah. still happen to, you know, guys or it can yeah. still happen to someone like that. And it's just, to me, to me, I watched that video and it was very empowering. And yeah, I think that anyone you, who was going through that would be inspired by that. Thank you. Yeah. How was that? Was it hard? Walk me, like, walk me through the, the mindset for yourself of like, if you want to. Yeah. I mean, it was very difficult. Like, sure. Very difficult to make. Um, because it's kind of like you're reliving it once you like talk about all of it. Right. Um, so it was very difficult, but like knowing that I could inspire like millions of people and like help them in their situation. Yeah. Um, like that's where I'm like, I'm I'm so glad I don't regret any of it. I don't regret talking about it because I just feel like I've I could help I could help anyone out there that's going through a similar situation. Yeah. Do you think having the support group you had while you were doing that helped a lot? Definitely. Because I mean, it took me a long time to like actually come, come out about it. Um, yeah. And like, I would not, I would not be in a good headspace if I didn't have my support group. Sure. Um, I think a lot of people like were waiting to like know the truth, mm -hmm. and um, it had to be you being yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah. Didn't know it to, to anyone. Ready, you know. Yeah. Definitely. I think I think the way that you approach it was beautiful. Thank I you. think at the end of the day, you did what you had to do Thank to you. get your mental health okay, or at Thank least somewhat, you know, decent. Yeah. I, I don't think anyone in our job is ever going to have their mental health okay, but <laughs> <laughs> somewhat okay. When I was watching everything unfold, obviously I wasn't at the house at the time. Um, it was something where it, I love that you didn't give in. Everyone's like, you know, spamming your comments. Yeah. Like, we need this, we need some explanation. They don't, yeah. they don't, you need that. Yeah. That's for you. Yeah. I think a lot of people thought I was staying silent. Um, since I wasn't posting on social media about sure. it right away. But um, I think that it's like the difference between like my support group and yeah. saying it on social media. It's like I had my family, I had my friends, I had you guys um, to talk to about everything. I wasn't staying silent. I like I felt I needed to be out there so I could help one another, so I could save another person sure. going through the same thing. I love it. Um, but yeah, I wasn't staying silent. On the on the topic of mental health, how how is your mental health? Um, mine's pretty fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mine, yeah. mine is. <laughs> yeah. So I I think yeah. honestly, because you carry we carry each other very similarly. Yeah. I think my you know my videos and the way I perceive like perceive myself online before was very happy and very Definitely. you know you know my content is all happy. I never talked about how I was and I only filmed my friends in funny situations. And then, you know, I started getting the music. And I started, you know, posting videos like, you know, when my mom passed away or just when I was going through something in my vlogs, like I would literally sit there and be like, you know, this is, this is happening to me. Yeah. For you, you always walk around with a very happy attitude. Are you that happy all the time? Or is that just something? Oh, 100 No, no. Well, ex walk me through that. Um, Sorry, I keep saying that, but I'm yeah. genuinely like, I, I think that's something for me. <laughs> no, it's like, like a therapy session. I love it. Well, yeah. yeah, but it's also like for me, I've known you for a very long time and we never have these conversations. Yeah, no. And the beautiful part about it is it's like, I feel like no one realizes this. This could help yeah. so many people. Oh, totally. There's 100%. so many people who probably are going, have gone through what you've gone through, maybe mm -hmm. feel the same way you do, feel the same way I do. Definitely. And it's something where it's like, you are in a very su successful position. You've done a oh, lot of successful you. things. You are a 19 year old who's made you know a significant income and you also are very prominent on social media. And that's something beautiful. And it's something that's like, you know, when I was, and I've said this so many times on the podcast, when I was, you know, 16, I felt like it wasn't possible because of the yeah, things I was going through. Definitely. So it's like, again, like I said, walk me through it. It's weird, like, separating, like, what you show on social media and um, how you actually feel in real life. And I'm definitely not um, happy 24-7. Sure. I, like, a lot, a lot of the time, it's, like, very depressive and, like, sad, Um periods but i've been i've been trying to show on social media more that like i am human and i feel like these emotions because i like i just back then i seemed like a bot just like some happy like robot you know sure. and that's so like unreal i mean literally like no one is like that in real life sure um i think posting more positive content 
um, helps me. Like it makes me feel better. And um, I think a lot of social media is like toxic once you like scroll through your for you page. So if I can be that like happy light um, or funny video yeah. um, on your for you page that makes you laugh, like that, that makes me feel good. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it makes me happier too. So, um, but yeah, I want people to know that like I, I do feel a lot of emotions just like you. Um, you make like your funny little skits and <laughs> all your videos, but I know you like what you recently went through. Um, like it's just like dark periods and like right. sad periods and it's, it's hard to go about it on social media. So it's just easier to make like more positive content. Yeah. You know, do you ever get hate comments? Yeah, I'll get, I'll get hate comments, but like it, I'm, um, I don't really. You don't let it get it to you. No, it'll be like, I'll like pin the hate comment. It'll, it'll be like funny. <laughs> or like I'll make, I'll like make fun of the hate comments. Right. You know, like, like I'll get like more about like my looks and like. Yeah, what? <laughs> I was looking at your TikTok the other day. What, <laughs> what is like, I'll be watching like a normal, like, you know, fun Jack TikTok where you're like fucking <laughs> out the goddamn car and you're like, woo. And like fake body, fake car, yeah. fake road, <laughs> fake video, green screen. And I'm like, yeah. holy shit. Mm -hmm. That's so great green yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then other times I just look and it's like, what was that TikTok where you, you something about having something up your ass or something where he's like, what was that face you were doing? I'm trying to think. I don't know. I make a lot of weird videos. <laughs> you post like, so much, bro. I also feel like that type of stuff. I am like a weird type of guy. So like. That type of video just feels like more me. Like there'll be know. okay, there'll be a, there'll be a fun TikTok yeah. where you and all your friends are outside Little the car, cow, yes. and then the TikTok before that. <laughs> You're biting your lip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show the camera. Uh, if the camera can pick this up, hold on. <laughs> There's just a random fun video of him. I hope this picks it up. I'm, for anyone listening, I'm showing the camera a fun clip of Jack in Hawaii. <laughs> and directly after. This one, this one's good. He makes that face. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I'm, I'm confused because I signed up for all yeah. of it. Oh, but it's yeah, like, yeah. your niche is like 18,000 things. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. Yeah, I'll like, I'll switch around. And I think that's like one of the biggest things about like um, being a content creator is just, I mean, like doing it all, you know, comedy. I love it and I envy it because for me, mm -hmm. it's like I had to make a separate can channel called or a second account called uh, Cover's Boyfriend. And I shit post yeah. on that. Mm -hmm. And it's fun. But like my main cha my main account on TikTok is very specific things because it's like, okay, people signed up for this. Then mm -hmm. I'm going to give them this. Yeah. Where it's like you're kind of like, you signed up for Jack, right? Yeah. Motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you kind of just, sh you, you shit post, but it's good shit posting. So it's like oh, just content. <laughs> I don't know. That, it's oh, just, that means a lot. Thank you. I know. You. We were we were talking about mental health. Okay. How, what like what do you cope? How do you cope? Like what's the what's the thing that you is it traveling? Is it going to Hawaii? How do yeah. you? Let's say you're having a really shit day. You're having a terrible day. Yeah. You just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. And yeah. I have that all the time. Mm -hmm. Maybe you didn't get enough sleep. Mm -hmm. Maybe you went to go eat cereal and it Definitely. was bad. Or you know. yeah, <laughs> yeah. How uh, bad what do you do? That sucks. Um, I'll book a flight to Italy. <laughs> 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 that was the richest bullshit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> you know, some people are like, I'll go on a run. Yeah. I'll box. Jack's like, Italy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, literally like driving to the beach or going outside. I think that's my biggest thing, like traveling, doing something. Um, I, I like to be by myself a lot. Yeah. Um, and kind of like, I don't know. I love nature and just like being one with nature. Yeah. Uh, I think that helps me a lot, just like going out and taking a break from my phone and just looking at the ocean or looking at the trees. Mm -hmm. um, I sound like such a hippie. No, like, no, no. no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's, it's not necessarily a hippie. It's not like you're mm. saying like, you know, I'm, I'm going to go fuck that tree over there. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's kind of like I for you. I did just make a video about like I know, I watched. I, you, 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 you. <laughs> I love yeah. him talking about his TikToks and like how he doesn't have a specific niche. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a TikTok while we were waiting for Jack to come here, and Jack Jack's TikTok fell on my for you page, and it's Sadly. just you literally rubbing a hole on on, <laughs> on a tree. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I'm not complaining. I signed up for this, <laughs> right? Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm a eater. I feel like that there is some truth in that video, you know? You know what? And it's beautiful. Yeah. Truth. Nature is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> when it's speaking of like love, and I love this segue from a you fucking a tree. Um, <laughs> are you dating again? Is it something you're interested in? Are you kind no. of just, wh- wh- why? Wh- wh- what's the reason you're not really looking? I feel like there's so much more to life than just like relationships. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I think what you and Cover have is, is beautiful. I appreciate like, it. I'm guys, practically married. <laughs> basically. But you guys can do your own thing and then like be together. Like I feel like it's very healthy between you guys, you Thank know. You. But to me, it's just like I'm not in the period of my life to be like dating. And um, I, I definitely like, went through a stage of like wanting that. Yeah. But um, I think I'm trying to like focus more on myself and I love more that. like friendships I have. You're 19. <laughs> you have so much time. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm asking you all these questions. You're yeah. like, honestly, man, I love skateboarding. <laughs> you know, I have calluses on my feet. Right. These things are rock solid. It's a murder <laughs> weapon, you know? I love it. I mean, did you try? Was it just LA and it kind of just sucked? Or what, was it just in general, you kind of just needed to focus on yourself before you could really, you know, put something into a relationship? I just need a break from any sort of, like, relationship, yeah. you know? Um yeah, I just I do not have my focus on that right now. Obviously, that's like, okay though. I have you don't those, need to. I have those thoughts and cravings. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay, tell me but, more. <laughs> Go on, walk yeah. me through that. <laughs> tell me more. Um, and how to make you feel? <laughs> I'd rather be like hugging a tree. Jake's like that. Oh uh, yes, you love Jake. I love Jake. That's Actually, good. I when I just. When I was in Kauai, I met a local, very, very nice guy, but he reminded me of a lot of Jake. Yeah. Um, same manner- mannerisms and like. Jake is uh, someone who lived at the Hype House. Um, when when I lived there, he still lives there. He's with yeah. friends with Jack. But yeah, it's it's very much like, you know, he's yeah, very spiritual. Very spiritual. He loves that. Yeah, with me. Are, are you spiritual at all? Do zodiac signs play into like your friendships and stuff like that? Um, <laughs> Probably I wanna, not. But I don't want to be like canceled by like the zodiac sign community, but. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I <laughs> got it. And for anyone who's wa- not watching, and I think listening, it's very interesting. He shook like, his head and down, <laughs> <laughs> like like because I'm an Aries, and what does that um, mean? I mean, I think Aries are very like stubborn, and they get mad, and I sure I sometimes get mad, and <laughs> so <laughs> you mean you're human, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, but like I feel like I, sure. I share similar qualities to every sign. So I love that. Yeah. I'm a Virgo. Oh, what does that mean? I'm sorry. What does that mean? No, what, I, don't even know. I don't know what that means either. Um, so the Hype House show. We were both on a Netflix um, reality show. Do you care if I put chapstick on? Real I don't care if you put chapstick on. Are you looking okay. at my lips and you're like, damn, I need some? Yeah, they're really crusty. Thanks, yeah, I man. Say, <laughs> I fucking hate that. Anyone watching this I'm goddamn totally podcast totally who are one of the people who comment about my fucking <laughs> lips on my TikToks, I will post a TikTok and like if it's me, it's just all the comments like, ever heard of chap uh, chapstick? Like, Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I have. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't getting chapstick out for me. I was just... I'm, fuck off. I'm fuck down, off. I'm Put totally it away. Good. No, I'm, I'm, my I'm lips determined. Get so dry it's going to be my brand. It's, it's after Accutane. Like, they're always constantly dry. Right? right? And then yeah. plus, we're both pale as motherfuckers. Yes. So we're just yes. going to fucking always burn. So you can true. tan, though. I've seen mm. you somewhat tan. He comes <laughs> home with tan lines, and I come home looking at Larry the Lobster from SpongeBob. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. Do you miss pole vaulting, bro? Mm-hmm. I, you and your brother both did track and field, yeah? Yeah. I do miss pole vaulting. I remember there's a, there was a point in the high pass where I just randomly, you were just like, ah, oh, I'm going to go pole vaulting. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. You went to Temecula. Mm-hmm. I didn't see you for four days, and I just saw your story, and you're running around with a giant stick yeah, jumping just, things. Yeah, just vaulting. Um, yeah, I missed it so much. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Uh, the pole vault community is also like such a fun and happy and weird sure. community, you know. You guys are running around with sticks, <laughs> right? Yeah, We're pole dancing and sure, you know, yeah, <laughs> acrobats, yeah, all that. Love it, fun stuff. Okay, so back to the hype house not reality show. We were both on a reality show. Um, I think our experiences were pretty similar. You went to Hawaii in the reality show. Mm-hmm. Was did they show that at all? Does that bum you out? Bummed me out a little. Um, I realized I think why they cut like all that stuff out. Sure, but I think there were some parts where like. My grandma has Alzheimer's and she's yeah. like forgetting literally like everything. And that was kind of like one of the last moments um, that like she like she doesn't remember like a lot right now. Yeah. And in Hawaii is kind of like one of those like last like moments with her, it felt like. Yeah. 
So I was a little like bummed that they didn't show that on TV, but I'm like, I'm just glad I got to spend time with my grandma. You and know? you get to write it on yeah. his work. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, definitely. I love that. I keep saying that, but like every, I, I'm so sorry for anyone listening and watching because I, I'm, I keep repeating the same phrase, but genuinely, I haven't seen Jack in a very long time, so it's nice. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh, love that, love you. Love that and he's like, you. he's like, okay, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty much just me catching up with my friends and you yeah. know writing it off as work and allowing you guys to watch our FaceTimes. <laughs> it's our in-person FaceTimes and you guys, there's just cameras. Right? That's what it is. Yeah. I mean, it sucks, but it's also beautiful. And yeah. I, I, that's the show, there's a lot of things for me that kind of like, you know, I wish they'd show, but at the same time, it's like the fact that I got to, you know, have these heart-to-heart moments with yeah. people that I normally wouldn't because there was cameras there and Definitely. because there was a producer being like, hey, say this, you mm-hmm. know, like ask them this. It was kind of nice. Yeah. It was it was definitely. nice, weird, and nice at the same time. We had cameras in our house. It was fucking creepy, but yeah. there was a guy in the fucking garage always being like, yep. I'm like, I'm like, hey, you want a sandwich? It's like 2 a.m. And he's like, no, I'm good. Yeah. I'm like, hey, <laughs> watching a camera, watching me make a sandwich. Yeah. So he probably watched Subway while he watched that happen. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about like cameras and social media too. Kind of like, it's like it forces us to sit down and talk to one another, but like, like, I enjoy it. I enjoy it so much and just, like, yeah. spin it. You know what I'm saying? I just can't wait to look back. Yeah. I can't wait to look back and be like, yeah. I've grown a lot in the last three yeah. years. Like, uh, it, it's it's crazy. It's quite literally, like, the craziest thing ever. Like, from four years ago mm-hmm. to where I'm now, I would never imagine it. Mm-hmm. So it, it's something that I'm like, wow, this is so cool. Yeah. And, and and five years from now and ten years from now, I really want to make one of those videos. Have you seen those YouTube videos where they're, like, you know, a message to myself in – 10 years mm-hmm. and then they like make another reaction video to that I want to yeah. do it I'm just too much of a pussy I think oh, people are going to judge me no what if I'm not anything in I mean I years? might judge you but like I don't think <laughs> <Okay>. thanks Jack <laughs> no do you, you should definitely do that do you want a season 2 of the high pass I think that would be sick I mean I don't, but what would you say oh, I, I, what would you f- want for me it's like I did it mm-hmm. and I'm stoked yeah but it kind of doesn't make sense anymore yeah for me at least I mean I that, that. that's the thing of like for me it doesn't make sense just because yeah. you know I'm, I'm doing some Amazing things yeah. for myself for once. And I think a lot of the time when I was living at the Hype House and when we did when we started it and we did all these crazy things, um, it was something that I kind of was like, Thomas, be the bad guy. Do these things for me. Say yeah. all these things for me. You know, you know, get me out of every situation. Mm-hmm. And I think that over time, it, it made me less of an adult. Mm-hmm. I didn't make decisions for myself. I kind of followed. I became yeah. a follower. And my life, I kind of set out to be the leader. Mm-hmm. And I set out to make the, these difficult decisions for myself. And I think it's over time I started realizing that I didn't have as many, um, as many, as much power to make a decision for myself mm-hmm. as opposed to I kind of let other people take it for me. And so once I moved out, I realized that, you know, this is something beautiful and this mm-hmm. is something great. And I don't know if I would want to revisit that yeah part of my life and kind of get sucked back into it. I feel like mm-hmm. it's been so long and I've been able to like, you know, build something for myself. Definitely. But that being said, totally makes sense for a lot of other people. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm kind of like on the fence. I don't like want to be known as like a reality TV show star. I, I think they're really cool and like amazing, but I want to focus on more like acting. Yeah. Um, Cause I've been like working hard doing acting classes every week, but. So you want to be an actor? Yes. That's awesome. What's Thank your dream you. role? I mean, I have like so many dream roles. I feel like, like, like you know how I Adam think, Sandler has like that certain type yeah, of comedy, yeah. And then you have like you know Kevin Hart and The Rock, yeah. Is it like do you want to be more like a Leonardo DiCaprio? I think like a a Leo yeah. would be sick. Um, I love Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, I love uh, I love like horror movies, weird movies. I feel like I I'd play. Uh, I I could see you it. know what I'm saying. Like, Here's just, like Johnny. <laughs> Can I see your phone real quick? My phone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's, what's, your, up? what's your lock screen? Um, my lock screen? Yeah. Oh, I I shattered the other phone, so there's nothing on my. Oh. It's like the right. Wait, why? Uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, it was Mark Zuckerberg. Oh. <laughs> what is your I obsession know. with Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah, I don't know. You just he's such an odd, weird. My producers. I have a chat going on with yeah. them. They in all caps are going, "Why? Why? Why is he obsessed with Mark Zuckerberg?" <laughs> Why is he obsessed with Mark Zuckerberg? Ask him why. And I'm like reading them and I'm like, I'm not going to fucking ask him that. <laughs> but now I can't get it. I no, can't so move on without. What? That just reminds me. I need to go change it back to Mark why? Zuckerberg. Um, he's such a like a weird, odd guy that like looks like a little lizard. And I love that <laughs> for him. So it's just like, I don't know. He's just misunderstood, you know? Right. Yeah. He's not a weird lizard. He's not. No. He's just, he's a, he's a cool guy. With It's a cool lizard. He's a cool, nice Gecko. lizard. Gecko, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, a little gecko, a little maybe a um, 
Yeah, a little gecko. I like that. Like, what's the dream for you? Like, in all seriousness, like, well, for you, like, in five years, 10 years, you're 19. So, like, when you're yeah. 30, do you want to be married? Do you want to live in Hawaii? Do you want to have a successful acting career? Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. What do you want for Jack Wright? A successful acting career. That would be awesome. Sure. Amazing. Friends with Mark Zuckerberg and. <laughs> also just like houses in different places i love like a place in hawaii and a place in france uh spain italy we went to france we did go to we went to france together it was beautiful yeah it was a beautiful moment that was so fun i know we, we kissed by the Eiffel we Tower. We kissed in front of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, and, yeah, and we didn't even meet, we didn't need to make a video about it because yeah. it was like it was. It was just a special the, moment. The time we spent together, right. rather than focusing on like the social media aspect of 100%. it, hundred percent is beautiful. I agree. How many kids do you want? How many kids? Yeah, I've always thought about that, but I want like a lot, like like ten, or is that too much? I feel like ten would be fun. How but would like, you feed all those kids? I don't know. I mean, would you want twins? Because you're ooh. a twin, or are you kind of like now? Nah. Maybe. I should I should just like I should have like a giant family and name them like the members of the hype house and one's Alex one is Clover. I would love that wouldn't that be so cute I would love that yeah speaking of hype house are you like what's what's your plan not to like instigate a riot but like, <laughs> but like for me it's like I never really thought of when I was gonna leave I just wanted it to make sense mm-hmm. and it hit a point where it made sense and it was kind of like you know me and Thomas talked and he's like you know this does make sense mm-hmm. like this is something where it's like you know yeah. you and Cover been dating for almost three and a half years like yeah. it's something that it just doesn't work mm-hmm. anymore. Is there going to be a time where you're kind of like, damn, I'm in Hawaii all the time, or I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, I might want my own spot, or you just mm-hmm. not, you don't really know yet. Yeah, I just don't, I don't know. Like, I, I don't, I've even thought about that. Like, there, I feel like there's no, there's no pressure sure. for me um, to leave. Like, it just, it feels. I feel like hype house in general is very like everlasting, everlasting, relaxed. Yeah. But like, it's also, it's. I feel like it's never. It was never official. You know, sure. So it's, it's an like, entity. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, there's no like pressure to need to leave. You know, like I right. and I love the people I spend time with um, mm-hmm. at the house. You guys have new people. Oh yeah. How is that? What, Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn Sam. Sam. Yeah. How's that? Uh, very good energy. I have, I've never met them. Literally, definition of golden retrievers. Like I, that's coming from me. Oh you know? wow. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. Dude, Jack just looked at my lips and fucking picked at his. No, no. <laughs> I saw no. it. I fucking saw it. <laughs> no, This no, guy's no. like, yeah. I keep looking because they're, <laughs> no. they're just very chapped. Mine are chapped, not yours. You you have very luscious, don't lie to me. beautiful No, just lips. don't lie to me. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't even. <laughs> Damn, really we know. have really an really audience. <laughs> I have never heard my fucking team <laughs> laugh this loud at any of the podcasts I've done. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm just hearing giggles and giggles. This is great. Uh, yeah, it's great. Is mm-hmm. there anything you miss? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Like, I miss you a lot. I miss the first house a lot. Yeah. Nothing really. It's kind of like growing up. Um, you don't really focus on anything, or at least yeah. for me. I Growing up, I kind of was just like, you know, I go to school. When school is done, I don't mm-hmm. focus on anything. I'm going to go have fun. Yeah. Then repeat. School, then fun. School, then yeah. fun. And if I'll fake sick, go fucking, you know, go go wild on town and yeah. fucking come back. There was no worry in the world. The first so Hype true. House felt exactly like that. It was yeah. just make content, go get your Chick-fil-A, we were all ride around like Ventura Boulevard. There was no family. stress. Yes, I, agree. I think over time, it started feeling more like a job and getting more stressful. It, are mm-hmm. you finding your roots back to that? Do you miss that at all? Or are you trying to like kind of find that happiness again? Or is that just something you're kind of like, you know, that was a moment and now I'm going to create my new happiness? Yeah, I think that was a moment and I'm going to create my new happiness because, I mean, life life changes. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And I think it, it everything happens for the better for that one goal that you want. And um, I think back then at the old hype house, I loved it. I had so much fun with everyone. Yeah. Um, but I was more focused on like making dance videos with James, which wasn't good for our, our friendship. Um, sure. I think I'm in like a healthy stage of my life right now. You know? Are you happier? I don't know. Still figuring think, it out? I think I, I've like, I've learned so much. And like, you know how like, you're growing up, man. Yeah, when you, when you learn and when you have, like, new information in your life, it's just, like, it makes life a little more sad. But What would make you I think, happier? I'd say I'm pretty happy. Um, Sorry for cutting you off. I'm just no, I'm no. genuinely curious. What would make you happier? Like, what would make you yeah. to the point where, for you, you kind of are like, you know what? That's good. 
If I could have you more in my life. Oh, stop um, it. Yeah. Stop it, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to make an edit of just 20 <laughs> minutes of Jack Wright flirting with Alex Warren. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, what, what what's ideal? Like, I know I asked you in five years, where do you see yourself? But like, what's your happy place? Mm-hmm. Like Hawaii, sure. But like the the things, like what is, and, and fuck the people, no yeah. offense. But like, fuck the people, fuck the hype house, fuck all of it. Just yeah. Jack, right? How are you happy and what makes you happier? Sitting on the beach yeah. in Hawaii or California. <laughs> like that, that's just living in the moment. Yeah. Um, sitting on the beach. I feel like that's just like where I'm happy. That's. Um, also like another thing that makes me happy is just like doing things for other people, like volunteering. I feel like that's oh, like, it's the best feeling. In that's the world. where you're like, you're genuinely, it's, it's like, amazing. it's not, it's like, it's like a, it's like a joy. It gets your you heart know? warm. And yeah. Stuff. That's what I, I love. So why um, wouldn't you move to Hawaii full time? You know what? Let's move to Hawaii. Come on. <laughs> no, no. no, but like, that, that's like, no, I'm not saying now. Like, I'm yeah. not saying in the next year. I'm saying like, yeah. do you see yourself eventually at some point in the, like, whenever do you see yourself kind of just like being like you know i can make content in hawaii i can do the job that i want to do i can you know because the rock is from hawaii yeah so it's like is that something that's like in your mind at all have you ever thought of it or is it why or why not i mean i've definitely thought about it i mean we're supposed to my dad was supposed to work for aloha airline so we were were supposed to grow up in hawaii but a lot of airlines um went bankrupt and we grew up in california yeah um which makes me like i feel like love hawaii even more I think there is going to be a time of my life where I end up moving to Hawaii or somewhere out of the country, you know? I mean, I just, I love, I love like the different cultures and I don't think I could see myself staying in one spot for a long time. I like change. Yeah. Like new experience. I think right now I'm like in the time of my life where I'm trying to focus on like working, working to my goals and like my acting and, um, and nothing the videos really matters. Make, yeah. N- yeah. Kind of. Um, I know exactly the feeling. Yeah, obviously I have like a couple of breaks, like the break I just had where I go to Hawaii for like a couple of weeks. And yeah. Like, yeah. Do you have ADHD? Yeah, very bad. We tend to hyper-focus. Yes. I yes. have it too. Does Definitely. Adderall help? 100%. I notice yeah. myself when I'm on Adderall though, like, and, and I'll take cover as ADHD. Mm-hmm. And so she has Adderall. And I don't have it just because I feel like sometimes it hinders my ability to like communicate. Mm. And I love conversation, but like you seem to not have a problem with it. Mm, thank you. What is it like? What's the downsides for you for Adderall? Yeah, like um, when you let let's say when you take that because obviously I think it's, it's just um, something that helps you. It helps yeah. you focus. It helps you kind yeah. of like be able to feel like you can operate in a way that you know Definitely. socially would be considered normal, which yeah. I, I I don't know about. But you you seem to be very well adjusted. Like you don't oh, seem like you. like yeah. It's I still feel like myself. I think. Um, because I also have like really bad OCD too. Right. Very bad. The Adderall just helps me focus on like what's right now instead mm-hmm. of when I wasn't on it. It's like I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to do that. And then like I, I can't even pick. So I just want to sleep or I just want to go on my phone to distract myself. Yeah. Taking Adderall like it helps me fo- it, like, describe kinda... Adderall. It's not on the streets. <laughs> no one thought that. <laughs> no one thought that. <laughs> I saw you thinking that. No. <laughs> um, but it's like what I can focus on right now when I'm, and I like that more. Um, Are you on anything else? No, I'm not right now. Medication I'm, for pole vaulting. Medication for pole vaulting? Oh, oh, because like, yeah, because like doping for pole vaulting, yeah. Yeah, okay. I wasn't even going Is this there. a part of the crime scene? Yeah. Oh, shoot, you got me so We're bringing good. it full circle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, don't, I didn't have any medication um, uh, while pole vaulting okay. at all. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm innocent. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> all right. That's good. All right. When you move out, event, like when, whenever you move out of the hype house and you, you decide to live on your own, are you going to live on your own or do you think you're going to live with people? Mm. And if so, who? Vinny. Oh. Definitely. Cool. Yeah. Benny's cool. But I mean, like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. think I don't think that's even on the fucking cr- scope of your mind, nor should oh, it. No. You're, you, yeah. have, you have so many cool things to fucking focus on. Yeah. I think eventually, like, you know, when when you, you just started living in the hype house a year ago. Don't fuck, fuck us on that. There's yeah. no point. I love Benny. He's um, very hardworking and yeah. always there for me. You guys always had, like, a bond. Yeah. Like, a bond. You yeah. guys were always like. Okay, what is this? It's a bond. What, okay. You, can't, you guys are like. Okay, it's like. Because look, there's no way to like move out of it. You're okay. stuck there. And you just look like you're like scissor. Oh, 
Yeah. Because like a bond. Okay, yeah. You yeah. know, there's like no way that. out of it. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just making sure. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. I love that man. He's awesome. He's hot. Sexy. Yeah. yeah. You guys ever go like on the prowl? You and Vinny? On the prowl? Like, yeah. You go looking for women? Uh, I love the scope that this fucking podcast has gone. <laughs> we like put on characters. <laughs> I feel like we're constantly on the prowl. I love that. You know? What's your type? A girl that's like adventurous and fun and um, funny. I love comedy. I love like when girls like understand my humor. Yeah. And it's like we can like vibe off that way. I kind of see like that Becca girl. Oh, Becca memes. memes. She's got the oh same type God. of comedy. I want to meet her so bad. She seems really funny. Oh. Okay. She. I think she has a boyfriend. Oh, really? Yeah. So I, not, he's no Jack Wright. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> not, not. I'm just that saying way. that even I, if she, she seems like really no, fun it, and nice. If she cool didn't, one. it'd be cute. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. I think. Yeah. You guys are both like golden retriever people. Really? It's pretty. Thank you. You're pretty. Ugh, you're sexy. Ugh. You and Cover. <laughs> just Cover views you as her child. That's the cutest thing in the world. Really? Cover, my oh. girlfriend Cover is obsessed with Jack and James. She just, she, I don't know. She's got like this weird like protector oh. vibe that she has with you guys. I love Cover. I know. She yeah. she cares about you a lot. Oh. I know. You guys are awesome. You're so sweet. You have so. to come over and hang out. I'm down. Yeah, obviously when you're done getting locked up for the crime. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm down to yeah. <laughs> so, make okay. some new friends in prison. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Jack in prison would be the funniest <laughs> shit in the world. He's like, honestly, this orange, I don't know if it's suiting me. Right? <laughs> we yeah. should do yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Oh my so God. you are massive on TikTok, I'd say. You're pretty big. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Do you, are, do you plan on using it as leverage to like, you know, Get in a, in a film? Are you taking the acting classes and kind of like doing it the like organic way? Like, I, like you? I don't want social media to have anything to do with my acting. Sure. Like, it's like I want to get. You want to be an actor and use social media on, as like, social media. My bil- yeah. Um, Who's your I, influences? Like actors. Yeah. I mean Leonardo DiCaprio, Jake Gyllenhaal, um, Brad Pitt. Who yeah. are those guys? <laughs> yeah, they're like underground. Yeah, um, underground. You probably wouldn't know. Yeah. How do you, what do you think the next steps are? Like, what are you going to do? Like to, let's say you want to become an actor. What is something you're going to do to, like, walk me through the steps you have in your head to do it? Because I feel like you have some mm-hmm. general idea on how you're going to do it. I've been taking classes every week yep. and spending hours a day. Because I think if you want to become, like, professional at something, you're going to have to, like, spend hours and hours a day um, trying to perfect it. That's what I've been doing with um, music. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, so definitely just, like, spending all my time um, towards that goal. And I think having that goal um, at the back of your mind at all times like helps you focus and yeah. it's like your main objective, you know? Uh, but yeah, how's how's your singing going? How's the singing? Oh, I love this. Your- you taking over the pod? <laughs> uh, it's good. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm flying out this uh, Thursday to New York to meet with um, some record label executives. I'm going to New York. This Thursday. Wait, is it this Thursday? Yeah. You're going this Thursday? I'll be I in New York so. Thursday and Friday, and then uh, we're going to the Bahamas together. Wait, I'm going to be in New York, and then I'm going to the Bahamas from New York. I feel like you're lying to me. No. What are you doing in New York? Um, just a couple <laughs> meetings. Let's give, give him a few minutes to make something up. <laughs> Fucking liar. <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding. I have, I have my manager right outside, so add in. She knows. Yeah, she knows. Yeah. She does not know. <laughs> she's, no, she's, she's, right. behind the, she's behind the She's behind the scenes like, yeah, what the fuck is this kid talking about? No, we're going to New York. We're, yeah, yeah. We're, she's going to show me her hometown. And, is she from um, New York? Yeah, she's from New York. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can never tell when you're lying to me. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That's so weird. No, because here's the thing. Jack, everyone has a tell when they lie. Mm. You just don't. <laughs> oh, sorry. You just okay. smile and you go, ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're like, I just like completely flew to the moon and back. Ah, ha, ha. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? No, but yeah, I, I'll actually be in New York. And then, so let's get dinner in New York. Yeah. I'm down. I'll be there Thursday and Friday. It, what, what's been the, the best place you've traveled to? What's the what's the, the place that you've absolutely fell in love with the most? Hawaii. <laughs> I mean, I feel besides like I've, Hawaii. I always have like a yeah, connection Hawaii. with Hawaii. Lake Como, Italy, Bellagio. When'd you go there? Because we went to Italy together. Yeah, I went to like I I randomly like flew out to Barcelona to like hang out with like some and bunch of friends. Oh yeah. my god, bro! Yeah. We were in Italy and then we flew back to Germany. Oh yeah, that was. And yeah. this fucking this yeah. kid. 
missed his flight, missed his flight from Germany. We're all on the fucking plane. Jack goes, oh, I can't find my Vax card. <laughs> I go, what do you mean you can't find your Vax card? We're taking off right now. I'll catch you guys later. I'm like, you're in <laughs> Germany. <laughs> you're, you're not like in LA and you live yeah. in fucking Moorpark. You're funny. in Germany. And so yeah. we get back home and all I, I, I'm just like, where the fuck is Jack? And Jack's yeah. like, Jack sends me a photo and he's, he's in the streets of Germany still. 24 hours later, he's like, I missed another flight, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, and you're made, in the pub with like seven people. Yeah. And you're not even drinking. You're just sitting there going, woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like you made friends the first yeah. day. You mm -hmm. had you did not make your flight. You made friends mm -hmm. while you were in Germany. Yeah. And then just what did you do? You just fucking went yeah. around hanging out? Went around hanging out. The uh, they're British. I met British friends. And then also a couple Germans. Um, but the British were, started a family. We fucking <laughs> 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 start a boy band. <laughs> Um, the British were really nice. They they taught me like all their slang and oh cool. You know, what was what was your favorite slang you got? Like, are you mad, bro? Are you mad, bro? <laughs> yeah, that really vibes have you, that one. Have you carried that one over here? Yeah, it feels like, like when I talk in British slang, it feels like me. You know? Yeah, yeah, it feels authentic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my grandma's British, so like really, yeah, I'm basically from you, Britain. You practically like, right? You know, top hat and everything. Yeah, so true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And on that note, okay. I have come to my verdict. Okay. Whether or not you are guilty for this crime that we may call doping to get into the Junior Olympics or mm -hmm. however you want, I, I have decided that you are not. Um, you're not guilty. For the main reason that no. you probably befriend the guy who's going to sell you drugs, convince him not to sell drugs, and so then, true. you know, turned his life around and, and completely and made him into doing great. He's, he's doing great. Yeah, he's... Um, He's my manager now. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. And on that note, that has been the podcast with Jack Wright. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say? I love you, Alex. I love and you too. I'm so glad I got to see you again. Is there anything you want to promote? Promote? Yeah. Like uh, brands? Anything, no, no. <laughs> anything you've done, would you like to promote? Um, hmm. Go follow Jack on TikTok. Oh, like my account. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, thought you, I was like, I love Diet Coke. I thought I was yeah, just sure. Yeah. A hundred percent. But, um, yeah, go follow the TikTok, the Instagram, all that fun stuff, you know. And at this current moment, Jack Wright, you are officially locked out. Woo! <laughs> uh, can, can I just go to jail for the experience? You got to stay here. Okay. I'm down. All right, Calvin. You're up. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, that was look, a very... Uh... You look amazing in that. Am Thank I... you. Am I are you gonna cuff me? No, don't no, cuff me. I'm gonna Stop. massage you. Please okay? don't cuff me. And then I'm gonna give you love. Okay. okay? Well, thank you. You seem tense in there. I was how, very how, tense. No, I'm not. How was the interview? Um I need a, I need a <laughs> massage here. Okay? He just had a very stressful day. Yes, thank you. I need You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the nipples. No problem. Yeah. <sighs> thank you. Thank you so much. You look amazing in that outfit. Thank you. It fits you. Are you a police officer? Huh? Yes, I am. I LAPD feel or? Very comfortable. Are you LAPD? No, I'm actually out of world PD. Oh yeah. my gosh. So you'll never hear of me. But you're, wow, it's crazy. CIS7. CIS7. Yeah. I love, <clears throat> I'm a fan. So how was, how was the interview? It was great. I felt very comfortable and amazing. Do you yeah. need to re relieve anything? Say anything to um, me right now? No one's here. Just um, pretend like no one's here. No one's here. No yeah, one's no here. one is here. Okay. Uh, I, I don't I don't think I need to relieve anything. It's just Is yeah. your hair real? Is my hair real? Yes. It is so fucking gorgeous. Oh, thank you. You're so welcome. that's so nice. No, I'm serious. Like Thank you. I didn't I kinda wanna like cuddle up with it and just I like, didn't think you'd come in here and compliment me. Thank you. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah. I, I don't think I need to re release anything. Okay. Um Do you want a massage? I think Should I need Should we that. clear this table and massage you? Low key, yeah. Really? Yeah. Can we do that? Can we clear this table and massage Jack on the table? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Can we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Let's move that right there. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, Calvin, don't be afraid to really get yeah. in there. Yeah. I think my glutes need a lot of like, stretching. Your in glutes? There. Yeah, the glutes are okay. very tight. You know? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Just relax. Take a deep breath. Oh. Can you give some ASMR into the mic? Yeah. Hey. It's me. Oh shoot, this feels so good. Hey, how you doing? 
Hey, Alex. What's up, Alex? I'm massaging the glutes now. Yep. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't expect anything. Like <laughs> <laughs> I think this is another big thing. Yeah. So Men the, mental health is now, just releasing stress and getting massages. Yes. You know? Very true. Um, talk about something. Um, oh, shoot. What should we talk about? Okay. Um, this is now talked in with Calvin. Hold on. I think I think, I? We, I think I think we. I, should, I think I should sit on top of you. Definitely right sit on top. Yeah. Yeah. You should one hundred percent sit on top of me. Do you yeah. want Do you want that to happen? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, this okay. Right here, like this. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Wow. Now we are really getting <laughs> deep into this into this podcast. This uh, looks really, really wrong. I probably. think I think we hold a lot of uh, stress and anxiety in our muscles. So Man, this does not feel right to me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. You are now in talked in. I, I like Calvin in. and Jack. Jack, you are my first guest on this after party section today. Yeah. I'm gonna be massaging his glutes. Glutes. <laughs> <laughs> So Jack, talk about anything. Uh, all out. I mean, I feel like I needed this massage. I'm pretty jet lagged. Yeah. Um, so. How does jet lag um, work? You know, I, I'm not an expert on being <laughs> jet lagged, but I think, I think, I, yeah, I just feel jet lagged. But yeah, yeah, I'll think, yeah I like that. Um, yeah, I was saying, I think we hold a lot of stress and anxiety in our muscles. Mm -hmm. So like, to be able to relieve them in a back massage, yeah. I think really helps. I mean, like every every second you're doing this, I'm just becoming happier and happier. Really? Yeah, so wow. thank you. Yeah. Right, no problem. Yeah. Anytime there. Okay, guys, this has been Talked In, <sighs> the after party show. And we are now talked out. Woohoo! Yeah! Nice. That was a good talk. I yeah, mean. I think we had a great talk, Jack. Yeah. I will. I miss you, Calvin. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, we will be ending this right now. Yeah. Jack, do you want to show your nipples for the camera? Um. No. I I have exclusive content on my uh, exclusive page. Yeah, just for Calvin. Cool deal. Yeah. All right. All right. Signing out.